It's national meets regional. Welcome to Sidewalks Entertainment, the long-running celebrity, music, and art series. Join us now for an exciting new path to celebrity interviews, music, rising talents, and much, much more. Hey everybody, welcome back. We're at Big Wow uh, Comic Convention here in San Jose, California. And one of the things about this convention you can do is meet some incredible people. And we got a very familiar face. If you love the television series Land of the Lost, remember that show, Land of the Lost? Well, we got the guy who played Will Marshall. This is Wesley Yer. Yeah. All I ever did on that show was, run, Holly, run, there's a dinosaur. <laughs> that's it. That's my entire performance. Now you see it. I'd go home. And I, and I brought my pet sleep stack with me. Uh, that's right. Yes. <laughs> and I, be careful. They, they, they bite. They don't run fast, <laughs> but they bite. <laughs> Let's, let's talk about you before we get into land a lot. Now, you're from uh, Louisiana, right? Baton, Baton Rouge, my gosh. How do, you did your homework, Richard. I'm impressed. I'm totally impressed, yeah. Now, how do you go from there to become an actor? I know you moved to L.A. How did you become an actor? Well, I, was, I moved to New York. I was oh, working okay. on, uh, I was 17, and I was working at Stratford, the American Shakespeare Festival, and, you know, doing Stratford. So going from uh, to be or not to be to run, Holly, run, it's an amazing transformation. <laughs> and then I was doing Days of Our Lives at the same That's time right. as Land of the Lost for nine years. Playing uh, Dr. Mike Horton. Yeah. Now, um, did you always want to be an actor? Yeah, always. When I was five years old, five years old. Well, I didn't have a dad, so and I figured I figured I just needed attention, <laughs> you know. So I mean, when I was five years old, I'm Hattiesburg, Mississippi. I go, I'm going to be an actor in, in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. They go, <laughs> Yeah, right. And then I did it, so it was fun. What was your very first uh, professional role? My first was at. Uh, the American Shakespeare Festival at Stratford, playing Ariel in the Tempest with Morris Kornofsky and Seda Thompson and Jane Alexander. It was, I, no, yeah, we're, get, we're getting <laughs> yeah, sleet stack <laughs> noises all from everybody. <laughs> Behave yourself, all right? <laughs> all right, so. <laughs> Just, you know, the show went off the air in like 1974, 5, 6, yeah. and it's taken this long to tame these. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> so it's, it's hard. They're not easy. You have to walk them. You have to feed them. It's really not easy. Is it, is it hard to find food for them? Oh, my God. Well, you just you just have to find it. I can't say it. I just can't say it. No, you, you have to edit yourself sometimes. You know, it's important. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to find little color uh, lit crystals walking around. Uh, it, it is. It, it is. Uh, yeah, we, we, we do crystals all the time. Uh, yes. Most places you'll get arrested for those crystals, but it's all right. It's <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're the different type of crystal. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so you hit, did something that many actors, especially in those days, did not do. You appeared on two television shows at the exact same time. Yeah, doing you days mentioned of, Days of Our Lives. So in the morning, I was uh, Days of Our Lives, and I was, uh, you know, when I first got on the show, a wagon fell on my chest and crushed me. Then I found out that my father wasn't my father. He was really my uncle, and my <laughs> uncle raped my mother years ago at the hospital. And the mafia was after me. My girlfriend, she, she, she didn't want to have sex with me. Then I had an affair with my father's ex lover, Linda, to prove his eyes okay. My, I married a girl, Margot. She got leukemia, and that was the first week of the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty much. So, any, and so in the mornings on NBC, I would film, uh, like, crying that my girlfriend was leaving me or something. And in the afternoon, I'd be running from these guys, the sleaze sacks. Okay, so you're, you're a, doing a daytime one-hour soap opera, a daytime drama, is already hard enough. With all the lines you got to memorize all day, you know, you're shooting one episode. What? Are, are you crazy to try to even take on another show? I mean, how did you get Land of the Lost at the same time doing Days of Our Lives? I was doing Days of Our Lives, and uh, they asked me to audition in Sid Croft from Sid Marty Croft. And I auditioned, and I got the part. Well, and you, had, you already had a relationship with him previously. I had met him at a party, and he, and he said, listen, we're casting a show. I want you to audition. And I auditioned and got it. I remember I was in New York at the time. I, I was, uh, uh, they wanted me to go on Broadway and do Candide and uh, David Merrick, and, and I I got a call that says, we want you to do Land of the Lost. And I go, oh, I don't know. I've got Days of Our Lives. I'm going to do the Broadway show. Thank God I said yes, because it's been the greatest. I mean, I love I, I love my history with Land of the Lost. So you did Days of Our Lives in the morning, and then in the afternoon you did Land yeah, of the Lost? Yeah, I was running from dinosaurs in, in sleet stacks. So we did, <laughs> I did that for three years. And then I continued on with uh, Days of Our Lives for another six years. So you're doing Days of Our Lives, Land of the Lost. Why two shows? Why money? Are you crazy? <laughs> no, I started as an actor. I had when I first got to Hollywood, I had nothing. I was a I got a job as a bar back in a, a, a German Oompa bar, you know, playing bands and stuff like that. And and uh, and the first show I got was I auditioned and I got a new show called The Organic Vegetables with Kay Ballard. And I was it was the guys that produced the monkeys. And yeah. we started filming. There was a writer strike. And but anyway, I just suddenly 
got Days of Our Lives and then Land of the Lost and a bunch of other shows. We'll talk more with Wesley Ur in just a moment, including what it was like to film Land of the Lost. Sidewalk, theme song, and additional music produced and performed by Gerald Orsino. Visit her at her website at GeraldMusic.com. So when you were doing Land of the Lost, what was it like? Uh, you know, it was early days of video, I'm pretty much. Oh, what was it like doing that? It was great. We were the, we had the largest chroma key set in Hollywood. It was a whole sound stage. And the chroma key is the green screens. And it was the technology. I mean, if you look at it now, it's hokey, right? Because it's stop frame animation. But at the time, it was state of the art. And the writers, we had David Gerald, who wrote, was uh, they're all Star Trek writers. Star Trek, yeah. He wrote uh, Trouble with Tribbles. Uh, we had Dorothy Fontana. We had uh, Walter Koenig. From Star Trek, he actually created the character of Enoch, the talking sleaze stack. He was the one that was intelligent, not like this one. Oh, okay. But, uh, <laughs> all right. I mean, no, you're very intelligent. I don't want to make you mad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Marshall, Will, and Holly on a routine. It makes them, it really makes yeah, yeah. them calm down. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, when you were doing that show, I mean, were you very close with the uh, your co-star Kathy uh, yeah, Coleman? Well, I think her name is. Well, Kathy Coleman. She was. She played uh, Holly, Holly, and she, you know, she was. She was a little girl back then. She was uh, like I think she was like eight or nine. And Philip Paley played Chaka. But so we were from different eras, obviously. Yeah. But today we're, we're we're very close. I talk to her a lot, and, and, and we're friends. And we actually did a, a guy that played Chaka, Phil Paley, Kathy Coleman, and myself flew to Milwaukee to surprise the guy that played my dad. We hadn't seen him in 38 years. Now, which dad? You got two dads. Uh, we had an uncle. Oh, no, no, you had a daddy. Yeah, yeah, uncle, yeah right? Spencer Milligan. Yeah. And we hadn't seen Spencer since he left the second season. And we go knocking on his door. He had a film crew following us. And the documentary will be coming out. So it's, oh, wow. it takes a real interesting turn. <laughs> <laughs> I won't spoil it, but it okay. takes a very interesting turn. Now, of course, they made a Land of the Lost movie, or attempted to. He did. Now, what was your reaction when they said they were going to do it? And of course, you had a cameo I, in it, and they cut. I was excited. I mean, I was so thrilled I was going to do this cameo. And then they stuck Kathy and I in this little role and with, with uh, Will Ferrell and, and Anna Friel. And they got cut because we were part of the, the old ending of the movie, and it didn't work. <laughs> a, lot of, uh. a lot of things didn't work in this movie. I remember sitting at Grauman's Chinese for premiere night. And I'm sitting there watching the show. I'm so excited, you know. And we're watching the show. And of course, in the show, it's not a family. It's Marshall is an archaeologist, uh, you know, and and Anna Freel who plays Holly is not the daughter. She's his assistant, and they have a love affair. So when Marshall kisses Holly in the big screen with Will, I go, "Are you crazy? You don't kiss Holly, Dad? Don't do that." It was, it was weird. Now, do you have a family yourself? I, I yeah, I have stepkids, and okay. yeah. Now. They, they watched uh, Lamb of the Lost, or I don't think so. I mean, I think they've seen it at sometimes, but it's, it's you know it's back on MeTV and uh, on DVD. It's on DVD. They actually they actually did the lunch boxes. They oh. re reproduced the old lunch boxes and put all the the DVDs inside of them, oh, cool. which is kind of fun. So and this is the actual the original. I mean, the, it's the same mold from the old Aladdin lunch boxes. So and we just came to the show here, and a very famous artist, uh, Tone. Uh, uh, who did this? Just brought this. Rodriguez? Yeah, okay. he just brought this over and said, "Here, I've done this for you." Isn't that amazing? Wow. So, we're very excited about that. What, what, what does it feel like? Uh, this was a job, you know, a couple decades ago. Oh, yeah. What does it feel like to keep being remembered for this? You know what? I love the show. I mean, I think the show had heart, and I was so honored. I know a lot of sometimes actors, you know, think, "Oh, I'm, you know, that was so long ago," but. I'm honored to have been part of that, to be part of this. I talked to Sid Croft the other day, Sid Marty Croft, and I said, Sid, you know, just to be part of your history, a small little, you know, I touched on this amazing creative genius's lives, and I love it. And who knew that, you know, as I become an old guy, uh, hanging out at a, at a comic fest, that people still want to talk about the show, and I, I just find it wonderful. You were a big teen idol in those days too. I well, I had oh, my, I did have my, I did have my moments. Yeah. I was recording for Motown and uh, recording with Bobby Sherman. Wow, and, you've done and so I, much. We got, we need a resume. <laughs> it's just how graphic. It takes forever to come up. Go well, up. and I sang the theme song to Land of the Lost. On the, oh no! Yeah, I did not know that. I know it's it's a piece, it's a piece of history because it's not credited on the uh, screen. Wow! And it was we went in the studio and. Um, 
sang it and Michael Lloyd produced it. Michael, the big, still a major producer in Hollywood. And, and he and I were in a group, a rock group together from Motown, singing White Boys from Motown. It was amazing. It obviously didn't work because <laughs> you don't know who we are. But there were four white guys. They put us together for Motown and, and Mike Curb was producing us and we went in the studios. And anyway, so then I went in and did the Land of the Lost theme song. Wow. Now, was this you only in the cast singing? or was yeah, just else? me. Okay. Did yeah. they ask you to do it? or like Yeah, they asked me to do it. And then when they, when they got rid of, uh, my dad left in the second season because he had a little contract dispute. And they brought in my Uncle Jack, Ron Harper. Ron Harper. Right? Harper. I had to go and re-record the theme song to reflect the Ron change. coming in. And then in the second and third season, I would go to the Osmonds house. Uh, and we'd go into their house. They had a studio in their own home in, in, in Santa Monica. And because I sang, I had like a four-string gourd guitar that actually sounded like a full orchestra. I don't know how that happened, but it was the magic of television. But we sang songs, and it was fun. Now, um, you're, you're producing nowadays yeah. and doing some, still acting. So uh, tell us a little bit about some of the stuff you've been producing. I mean, you... I've got two development deals for two TV shows we just sold, and the Stephen Schwartz musical, and just finished a film and, you know, just sort of hanging out. Enjoying my later years <laughs> as I get older and older. But the successful later year. I mean, you do it. You're still in the business. You're still doing it. I have a good. Listen, I'm a very lucky guy yeah. to be honest. You know, I, the sleaze tags still follow me around. It's really nice. I mean, come on, how can you get a friend to follow you and put a sleaze tag yeah. costume on? I mean, you, somebody's got to really be your great friend to yes. do this. Yeah, right. No, no, no. <laughs> Marshall, Will, and Holly on a routine next week. It's okay. Y'all's well, good sleaze tag. They get, they get so testy sometimes, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, uh, we're going to let you go here, but Thanks, uh, what, do you have any career advice, because you've been in this business, do you have any career advice for uh, rising actors out there who you know, will love to do Boy. what you're doing? You just have to love it enough to, <laughs> to be rejected a gazillion times and still come back fighting. And that's, that's you got to really, really love it. It's got to be part of your passion and your heart. But that's with everything. I mean, you know, everything. Computer programs, any programmers, anything. So. Very fun, uh, fun to meet you here because I, I I watched Land of the Lost and uh, you know and I've been watching on uh, actually like Me TV, so yeah. the rerun. So it's so cool to meet you. Thank you so much. And of course, you know, I I was one of the co-creators of Dragon Tales also, which yes. is a uh, uh, there are so many things that you have done. It, it just don't have enough time to talk about all of this stuff. You know, what's been fun here at, com at this at this Comic Wow, Big Wow, has been all the little kids from for Dragon Tales that have been coming by because it was fun to sort of have that second career. I was you know I was a it's just it's just fun. It's a good life. It's a good life. One lucky guy. Thank you again. From hosts, producers, and our technical crew, Sidewalks is produced by a creative group of individuals. We hope you continue to watch us on TV and visit us on our website. Thank you for being a part of Sidewalks Entertainment. Hey everybody, thank you very much for watching Sidewalks. We're completely out of time. I'd like to thank Wesley Yur and uh, Blake Lewis. We'll see you next time here on Sidewalks. Marshall, Will, and Holly on a routine next week. It's okay. Y'all smell good sleep.